<laughs> a fine way to treat a customer, Paddy O'Brien. Scaring a half to death. Well, if it's a costume you're looking for, I'm afraid there's not much left, Katie. You know, with tonight being Halloween and all. Oh. Oh, how about that? With a long gown, I could be a druid. Hmm. I don't remember seeing that before. Curse of the necklace! Aren't you psyched about the party tonight? Java, no fine costume, all too small. Hmm. Then we'll just have to improvise. Mm. Voila! Java the ghost. Oh, uh, scary. <gasps> Martin, <laughs> that's school property. Ooh, uh, don't tell me. Let me guess. You're going to the party as a killjoy. A librarian, maybe? A wallflower! <laughs> I'm not going, period! Because Halloween is way too commercial. A lame excuse to sell costumes and decorations and candy. But Martin say candy free! It is, Job, it is. Now get ready for the unveiling of the coolest costume of the year! I'm gonna be Extremo! How would that be any different from your usual persona? I'm talking about the superhero die, huh? In that case, I'd better stick around. Wouldn't want to miss an opportunity to laugh at you in tights. Hey, what huh? gives? <laughs> Whoa, nice diaper! <laughs> That's it, I'm calling the costume shop. <laughs> this is so not a good time. Good smell. Control. Hi, Mom. Cool costume. That's not mom. It's real! <laughs> trick or treat. <gasps> Apparently you don't fully grasp the trick or treat concept, mom. Yeah, usually you offer people a choice before you scare the snot out of them. Oh, you guys are no fun. Down, Hilda. <sighs> Anyone else want a dried eyeball from Astaria? Diana? Mm. Java? Mm. Big baby Martin. 
Uh, looks tempting, but no thanks. Suit yourself. Uh. Now for your assignment. Patty O'Brien, owner of the party shop in Kilvegan, Ireland, is in the hospital being treated for shock. It appears that he was almost scared to death. Literally. It's probably just some kind of Halloween prank that got out of hand. No way! Halloween time is bursting with paranormal activity. This is the real deal. Mm. You can bet on it. I just hope we'll be back for the party. Java, no want to miss. Then I suggest you get moving. Someone went a little overboard with the Halloween decorations. Hmm. These aren't decorations, Di. This is a dead zone! A circle of dead vegetation indicating a supernatural hotbed! a supernatural hotbed, but something weird definitely happened here. Goo! I'd say it's time to do a slime scan. You watch activated. Slime scan selected. Blackberry puree. Huh? Hey, don't mind if I do. Mm -hmm. Martin, mm -hmm. you can't just sample the puree, even if you are dressed as a baby. I can't help it. Blackberry's my fave. <sighs> Fine. Now, if only we could figure out where all this puree is coming from. I'm thinking it's the residue of the supernatural force that attacked O'Brien. And I'm thinking it's time to stop jumping to conclusions. Come on, let's go to the hospital and get some real answers. <laughs> Maybe we're in the wrong place. I mean, there's no way they can keep patients on this spooky floor, right? Java no like hospital. Ah! Oh, no! oh. Hey. That's him, all right. Oh. Well, he looks about 30 years older. I wonder what happened to him. <laughs> no! Get away from me! <laughs> Mr. O'Brien, are you okay? <laughs> Now it's to be giant babies and ghosts, is it? Oh, this saint's preserve us! No, and no, they're Halloween costumes, Mr. O'Brien. Oh, we're here to help you. Now, why don't you tell us what happened in your shop? <laughs> a customer bought a necklace for her costume. When she put it on, it was like a whirlwind, an evil banshee sweeping through the shop. And then she tried to drag me away with her, but I escaped. What kind of necklace? Can you draw it? Yeah! 
door's gonna hold, right? Right. Uh, but just in case. X-Rod selected. Why did it just give up like that? Afraid of Java. Could be, but I think it was a warning. After all, ravens are omens of doom and destruction. Or maybe it came looking for O'Brien. <gasps> and now it's gone back for him. Come on! Uh-oh. Gone. And look, more blackberry goo. Which links the raven to what happened at the party shop. Which could connect to the woman and the necklace O'Brien mentioned. Hmm. Uh, uh, the the sketch. sketch! I'll scan it and send it to Billy for analysis. Maybe this center can shed some light on the symbol. In the meantime, we can search the town for additional weirdness and other oddities. On Halloween. I might have done worse for my first recruit, Paddy O'Brien. You're a wee man, but you're fast with your hands. <laughs> You stick out like a sore thumb without a costume. Right. I'm with a seven-foot ghost and a giant baby, and I'm the one who sticks out. <sighs> Java cold. That's because we've hit another dead zone. Bigger than before. Look! wasn't enough of a baby before. Hey, what's that smear? Chocolate with a blackberry filling and the missing half of the symbol. If I'm not mistaken, this is the mark of Carlin, the Celtic spirit who rules the other world from Halloween until spring. Well, how did she get here? The wall between our world and the spirit world is finished on Halloween. Something must have allowed her to cross over. The necklace! It must have allowed Carlin to possess whoever put it on. And I'm guessing she's behind the blackberry chocolates, too. The chocolates that are turning people into their costumes. Okay, so we're up against a major spirit force. We have no idea what she wants. And we've got no Martin? Actually, I'd be honored to take his place. Uh, you know, uh, just for this mission. Well, you are dressed for the part. 
Great! Now to stop Carlin. But how are we gonna do that? We don't even know where she is. <laughs> this way! Judging from the hideous beasties and creepy candy trail, I'd say this is definitely the place. Which means it's time for a little reconnaissance. Huh. Exactly what Martin would say. Chocolate. Lots of chocolate. <gasps> There's enough to feed an army. An army. That's it. The spirit realm's not big enough for her, so Carlin wants to rule this world, too. Come on. We've got to stop her. Trick or treat! Get the necklace! <laughs> When you speak to a leprechaun. Put me down, you Neanderthal. He called Java a name, bad man. Just stay here. No! You know, you should really do something about all this litter. Stay back, mortals! No one can stand against me tonight of all nights! Okay, so you have a few cute party tricks. But that's not gonna help you against human ingenuity. Or extraterrestrials. I did it just like Martin. Way to go, Billy! Give me my talisman! Watch out! <laughs> What? What happened? Paddy O'Brien, what are you doing there? Ah, Carlin! He's still possessed. How long do those chocolates last? Uh, Billy? I'm Testy Martin. How many fingers, buddy? Hurry up over here. Oh, still a baby. Carlin must still be in this realm. Ah! <gasps> Martin, no! <laughs> 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 you fools! To think you could get rid of me so easily! Oh, Back off! Do you have any idea how ridiculous you look? Look who's talking! That's the most pathetic costume I've seen all night! Ugh, it's not a costume! I don't believe in Halloween anymore! Too bad, because when dawn comes, it'll be Halloween all the time! Permanent winter and chaos, and there's nothing you can do about it! Uh, excuse me, uh, can someone untie me now? Come on, guys, we can take her! Billy, you go deep! Java, head on! Come on! Uh, I, I can't fight Martin! He's my hero! Uh, Java? Can't fight Martin? He baby! Well, I can't wait to fight Martin! He's a huge pain in the neck! You watch Ashley! No hurt him! Ryan, <sighs> 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 a big one! trap her here. But the chocolates did the same thing as a necklace. Maybe if we feed them the Carlin, she'll have to go back. Kind of a spirit mm. biofeedback effect. It's worth a try.
Hey guys, what am I doing in the unit? Martin! Oh, <laughs> oh please. <laughs> Well done, team. Martin, Java, looks like you'll be back at Toyington in time for the party. Actually, Mom, if it's cool with you, we'd rather go trick-or-treating in Kilvagan with Billy as a reward for his help on the mission. They do seem to get into the Halloween spirit around here. <laughs> Guess that just leaves you and me, Diana. Actually, I think I'll stick around, too. <laughs> Stick around? Uh, what happened to Halloween being too commercial? I changed my mind. Except for the rotting vegetation, the freakish raven, the demented leprechaun, and the crazed power-hungry spirit, Halloween's a lot more fun than I remembered. Especially the part where you turned into a big blue baby. <laughs> yeah, I had a feeling you might enjoy that. <laughs> ah, it was downright extremo. Now get candy? Uh, sure. But no homemade chocolates. Deal! Ha, 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 ha!